These are some practice exercises from page 397 of the textbook dealing with density and molar mass of gases. So just like any other gas law calculations we did, we're going to go through read the problem, figure out what information they're giving us, list that all out in an organized way, and use that to try to figure out what equation we should use for our calculations. So in the first problem, they're telling us that a mean molar mass of the atmosphere at the surface of this moon is 28.6 grams per mole. Now, a mean molar mass means that it's not the molar mass of a specific gas, it's just an average of all the gases that are there, but still we can use that value as our molar mass. And the symbol your book was using for that is kind of a fancy cursive M, so that is going to be 28.6 grams per mole. They're telling us a surface temperature is 95 Kelvin, so T is 95 Kelvin, pressure is 1.6 atmosphere, and they're asking us to calculate the density. For gases, we're going to have density in units of grams per liter instead of grams per milliliter. And the reason for this is that gases are much less dense than any other state of matter. So grams per milliliter would just be very, very small numbers. But if we do grams per liter, we have slightly more reasonable numbers. So if you look at this, it's kind of like we have the information for the ideal gas law. We've got a temperature, we've got a pressure, but we don't have moles and we don't have volume. Essentially what we're doing is we're rearranging that ideal gas law to allow us to solve for density, and that's going to slightly change the ideal gas law. If you want the specific algebraic manipulations, you can check out your textbook, but the equation we're going to use for our purposes is that density is equal to the pressure times the molar mass divided by that ideal gas constant times temperature. So again, as a reminder, that ideal gas constant, 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And if we take a look at our units, everything seems to be matching up. We know that our density is going to have units of grams per liter, so liters are good, our pressure is in atmosphere, that's good. We're going to cancel out the molar mass, grams per mole with the moles, and our temperatures in Kelvin. Since this is already rearranged to solve for density, all we need to do is plug in our values. So we've got the 1.6 atmosphere, we've got our molar mass, we've got R, and then we've got our temperature, making sure our units cancel, there's the atmospheres, there's our per mole, there's our Kelvin. I'm going to be left with units of grams per liter, which makes sense for density. So plugging that into your calculator, you should get a density rounded to two significant figures of 5.9 grams per liter. And the reason we're only using two significant figures is because of our temperature and our pressure values. So again, very similar to how we were doing our other gas law calculations, just list the information you have, find an appropriate equation, put your numbers in, make sure your units cancel, and then do the math. Okay, next we're going to look at, very, very similar. In this case, they're asking us to calculate the molar mass. They are giving us a density, a temperature, and a pressure. So let's go ahead and write this all out. We are trying to find that molar mass. We know that our density is 1.17 grams per liter. We know that our temperature is 21 degrees C and that our pressure is 740 torr. Again, we can use that same equation. We're just going to rearrange it so that it's solved for molar mass. So solving for molar mass, M is going to be equal to the density times R times temperature all over the pressure. Remembering that R is going to be in units of 206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. We're going to need to do a quick couple unit conversions. Temperature, we're going to add 273.15 to get that into Kelvin. So we'll have a temperature that's actually equal to 294.15 Kelvin. And that pressure, we're going to convert to atmospheres using the conversion factor that one atmosphere is 760 torr. So that's going to give us a pressure of 0 0.9737 
atmospheres, and again, we should always make sure our answers are reasonable. 740 is less than 760, so this is less than an atmosphere, so we should be at less than an atmosphere. Since that equation is already solved for the mass, we can leave it as is, just plug in our numbers, our density, 1.17 grams per liter, R, 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin, our T, 200 and 94.15 Kelvin and our pressure is 0 0.9737 atmospheres. Making sure all of our units cancel here, so we see the atmospheres canceling here, temperature is canceling there, liters are canceling there, going to be left with units of grams per mole, which makes sense for a molar mass. So in this case, our molar mass, and we're gonna round this to three significant figures because of the density. Our molar mass is gonna be equal to 29.0 grams per mole. So again, very straightforward calculations. Just make sure all of your units are correct. So if you need to do any conversions of your units, do the conversions of your units, and then just pay attention to make sure they're canceling out correctly when you plug them into the equation. It's always a good idea to double check your work, make sure the answer seems reasonable, and the more organized you are with listing out the information, the more success you're gonna have when solving these problems.